Hey Capricorns and welcome. We're going to be doing a reading. This is going to be from the 18th to the 25th. I'm a little bit late on the read, so I do apologize, but the universe, um, the time in the universe is very weird. Okay, so sometimes it can resonate even a couple of months down the line even. Um, and also, like I said, energy is always changing. Okay, so what I pick up now, it won't be the same on the next reading. So please take it how it does resonate. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs, all welcome here. Cross watches are welcome too. Um, the comment section is open, so feel free to leave some comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. All the good stuff down below for you already have. Thank you so much. Um, right, Capricorn, I had a title for you guys. It came through. I'm thinking about your reading. Uh, the first thing that came to mind is escaping the trap. So some of you guys could be trying to escape a situation, maybe you already have. Um, but that is what I got for you at the time of when I was um, channeling, okay? Um, and that was on the 18th, okay? So you can try going back and see what happened on the 18th, which was just a couple of days ago, maybe, or yesterday, was it? But yeah, I'll take it out and resonate. Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. We got the truth. So yeah, escaping a trap. All right, let's see what else we've got for you guys. We also have stand your ground. Okay. And one more. We have sacrifice. There it is. See, you feel like you're trapped in a situation or you, you are trapped in a situation you're going to be trapped in a situation okay um but it does look like you are able to come out of this energy i do feel like you will okay um and i feel like some of you guys you did stand your ground with this person or a situation that you're in okay but it does seem to look like here okay that when you try to do that this person you won't expect them no, you weren't expecting them to do something okay which kind of sabotaged uh, the situation okay or sabotaged your plan all right um you may have found out the truth about something okay or someone here may have found out the truth about a situation you've got deception and envy here as well okay and then you've got love begins okay and then you have crown chakra okay so when it comes to um your love life it may be that somebody here okay or an ex person okay or an ex partner is feeling very receptive and envious of your new relationship here okay um and you know what this person's trying to do or they're trying to plot something and with that crown chakra your higher self is telling you okay that you know exactly what this is right so let's get some more messages here for you guys okay and we'll, we'll see what's going on so me guys and venus please for capricorns what do they need to know so me rising and Venus for Capricorns, what do they need to know? Okay, so let's see what's going on for Capricorns. All right, so we have twin flames, yin yang, balance, union, a duality, coupling, complementing each other. Okay, so like I said, there is a relationship here. Maybe a your past person may have been a twin flame i'm not really picking that up i'm just saying it because it can feel like that with someone here but i feel like it's not a past person it feels like a new person that you're with you found a twin flame here okay and it's like a past person here is pretty burning here with envy okay and they're plotting something or they're challenging a situation hand of cards so you're definitely taking a chance here okay or being strategic okay with this past person here okay and maybe you're also like kind of trying to keep this new person away and making sure that, you know, the past ex, crazy ex kind of situation doesn't find out about this new person so they don't start harassing them, right? You also got soulmates here, okay? So, you know what? I kind of feel like this person is a twin flame soulmate, okay? Which is a very strong, strong connection here. So let's go to your tarot and see what we get for you guys. Capricorns, let's see what's going on. This is not a love reading, it is a general reading, but if love comes through, I will read, and if work comes through, I will pick it up. Okay, I will tell you about both life in general. Okay, so uh, please bear that in mind. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's go in with finding a little bit first about your love life. Okay, we'll pull a few cards for your love, we'll pull a few cards for your work, your finances, and then just your personal life. Okay, we have the chariot and we have the hermit coming through here. All right, there's two different energies coming through here, okay? The hermit is totally opposite to the chariot. 
the hermit is somebody who goes in respect this is somebody here who wants to gain wisdom who's tried to be insightful and plan and perhaps you know gain a high knowledge okay about a situation or um even about themselves okay and then the chariot is totally opposite energy here okay the chariot is a cancer energy you've got also virgo here the chariot is about somebody who's taking action based off their emotions and their passion and their drive right they're fast moving energy um and, and they're a go-getter. <laughs> there you are. They're a go-getter. You also have the page of cups coming through here, okay? Which is like an offer being made, okay? Or a gesture being made here, okay? Um, some sort of compliment coming through here, okay? About your motivation, your drive. Now, this could be somebody coming towards you, making an offer, okay? Or trying to be a little bit... I don't know why I'm getting that word coy. I'm getting the word coy. Maybe somebody here is trying to be coy with you, okay? Um, I feel like you see right through them. I feel like you do. Let's get some love cards, please, first for Capricorns. What do they need to know about their love? This Twin Flame Soulmate card, what is this? So you have the Nine of Cups, okay? So you are, at the moment, very emotionally happy where you are, okay? You're emotionally satisfied where you are. And with the High Priestess, I feel like where you're the most happy is where you're going to get the most messages okay i just feel like that is what's coming up here for you it just feels okay that you may be feeling like um like in regards to your happiness you're starting to see the truth about what makes you happy okay or what is it that really gives you that motivation and that drive okay what is it you need to do in order for your own happiness can I have one more card for love? For the soulmate twin flame energy. You have the uh, the four of swords in reverse. A little bit of restless energy coming through here, okay? Could be some overthinking going on, okay? In regards to a truth, maybe, as well. Or about some past situation here. But I feel like this is kind of like just a very kind of... Um, overthinking kind of energy here okay a very restless kind of energy here for you guys um i don't think it's anything to worry about i feel like you're just kind of coming into your truth and you're stepping into your truth okay and now you're going to be seeing what it is that spirit is really trying to show you here the universe is trying to show you here okay um, especially about this twin flame and soulmate cards when you come into the realization but you're a little bit unsure you're procrastinating about something here because of a past experience or a past lesson even right let's go into your finances and we will finances and work and we'll see what we have for you here okay and then we will go ahead and clarify for you all right so what's going on for capricorn's finances and work capricorn's finances and work We have a lot of uh, cards here, but I'm not going to take more. You have the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom. So a lot of you guys um, right now are investing, okay? You're saving up, okay? Excuse me. Oh, what is that? Okay, so let's see what we got here first. Okay, so the first card that fell out was the Two of Swords, okay? The next card we have is the Page of Swords, okay? We have the King of Swords, so you could be dealing with an um, an SI Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. You also have the High Priestess, which is Pisces too. You have the Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy. And then we also have the King of Coins here, okay? This is you. So, okay, at work... Okay, or in regards to your finances, you may have to stand your ground, okay, and stop someone, okay, um, from taking advantage of you, okay, so you may be a very helpful person, you Capricorn, you may be somebody who gives a lot, okay, you may be somebody who gives without expecting as well, okay, and that includes work, you may be putting in the extra time, the overtime, and feeling like you're just being taken advantage of, okay, but it feels here, okay, that there is um, a need here to stand your ground and perhaps um, stop this person, right, from taking advantage. Show them who's the boss here, okay, in terms of your own finances and your work, okay, and that you won't be treated, um, you won't be taken advantage of, basically, okay, because it does look like there is some kind of um, person, okay, could be a younger rare sign as well, okay, but it, this person may 
appear as a king of swords okay but i feel like this uh this person the underlying energy i'm getting is is a young um it's a very young air sign okay someone with air in their chart this is somebody who's curious curious this is somebody who spies this is somebody who gossips okay this is and i feel like this um younger this younger air sign, okay, uh, seems to be keeping an eye on things, okay? There may be somebody who is getting a bit too personal, a little bit too nosy, okay? Maybe this person is somebody who's always asking you for financial support, okay? And you're kind of like, listen, uh, it's not going to happen, okay? Now, if you are the manager or the boss of this place, you may be somebody who's like, listen, this person's always coming to me for a raise, and I'm sorry, I can't be doing this anymore. No more favors, okay? Um... Now, the Empress here is talking about being very abundant, okay, in your workspace, being very abundant financially, okay? And this is somebody who creates growth, okay? So I do feel here that you're manifesting or you have created, okay, a big amount of growth here, okay? When it comes to finances, when it comes to your work position, okay, it does feel here that you're very, very comfortable, okay? Now, you could be dealing with somebody here, an empress who works in your workplace, okay, who's shown a lot of potential here, okay? And this could be a boss and this could be a work colleague okay um but this is somebody who's very empathetic as well and i feel like this person has empathy towards you okay they see you as somebody who really does put in the work is always a giver okay whereas this king of is totally the opposite okay you may know who this is and how it resonates with you but again i just feel like there's this energy of needing to stand your ground end of i think that is literally the um the story here like you need to stand your ground okay let's see what's going on in capricorn's personal life please capricorn's personal life excuse me i'm not taking it capricorn's personal life what do we need to know for capricorn's personal life to me again now one more card for Capricorns. Thank you. Okay, you have the judgment, okay? So you need to make a decision, okay, about where you are putting your energy into, okay, with that sacrifice right there as well, okay? And maybe it's somebody that you need to stand your ground with, put in some ground rules, okay, when it comes to home life, personal life, get some structure and organization, okay? I feel like when it comes to a past person, okay, this person may be trying to come in, lure you in, okay, with lust, a lot of sexual desires here. And I feel like you're having to use your own discernment in regards to this person okay because this person's trying to mix your feelings up okay of course um conflict between you and your new person hmm. oh, God. right i feel like a decision does need to be made here okay or somebody here is expecting you to make a decision okay about how you're going to stand up to this past person okay if somebody here knows this all right because it does look like here okay that um this past person the mistress on the side and i'm not saying that you're cheating i'm just saying that it looks like it's a past ex or someone okay who's coming in out of envy and jealousy okay is thinking that they have become very successful in getting you right where they want you they know they think they know how to manipulate your feelings okay <laughs> that's what it is and they feel like they can manipulate your feelings okay and this could be to do because this person is a gold digger okay? this person sees you as somebody who's really well off now and very financially stable and so they're trying to um come back in so and you give to them okay and where that one's coming from i have no idea but it's the energy i'm picking up okay so let's see what's going on here for capricorns all right Clarify the Capricorns. Oh, let's see what's going on. Let's get straight to it. I'll tell you now, Capricorns, every time I wear these glasses, I'm literally seeing things. <laughs> I feel like I can see more than I should. One more shuffle. Okay. 
let's see what this six of cups uh sorry the nine of cups is here I'm hearing you've, you, you've already connected with a soulmate or a twin flame if you haven't already done so, okay? Looking through a portal, okay, and reflecting and mirroring your soulmate and twin flame, you have pulled their energy in. They are already with you, okay? If some of you guys haven't met them, you will meet them, okay? Um, I just feel like there's a past person here who's trying to screw up your connection. Five of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse usually kind of represents a loss, okay? Um, it usually represents not focusing on what you have, which is that twin flame soul mate, okay? And it usually um, is a distraction, okay, where you cry over spilled milk or somebody here is distracting you, okay, and making you focus on things that, that could have been, okay? So, again, I'm just getting this uh, past energy coming through here, okay, where it feels like it is done deliberately, Okay, it genuinely feels like it's being done deliberately, okay? <coughs> and the thing is, you know, you know it's being done deliberately and that's why you're not focusing on it. Mm? With the Nine of Cups being clarified by the Five of Cups in reverse, you know that this person's doing this deliberately and that is the reason why you're not focusing on it. You're focusing on your current connection and you're kind of like, nah, whatever. Tell me about the High Priestess, King of Crosses. So the King of Wands is um, the High Priestess. Tell me more about this King of Crosses. King of Pentacles. I'm kind of getting this energy of tug of war kind of energy, right? It's not even a push and pull kind of energy, though. That's the thing. It's more like when two balls, right, go head to head and they clash. It's kind of what I'm getting with this, okay? But somebody here is playing some very, very dark games, okay? I don't really like putting that into the reading, but I'm feeling it, okay? And the cards are kind of saying it, that somebody here is playing a very dark game here, okay? They're playing with fire. They are playing with fire and they are gonna get burnt, okay? And if you think this person has told you the truth, they haven't. They haven't even touched the surface of telling you the truth, okay? But I think you already know the truth. You already know the truth. Tell me about the Four of Swords in reverse. The restlessness is definitely an energy here of somebody who is very chaotic in their mind, okay? And because they can't think straight right now, they're making a very foolish mistake or they're afraid that they're going to trip and fall, okay? By taking a chance on something, and they're going to. That is the energy. I don't know who needs to hear this, okay? Judgment call, this is somebody's karma right here. This is somebody's karma right here, okay? Tell me more about this, fall and the four swords in reverse. There's some cards trying to come out in reverse. I told you, this is somebody's karma. This is somebody's karma, okay? Somebody here is going through a big-ass karma for disrupting somebody else's life, okay? It is what it is. Yeah, somebody here thought that they could take a risk, but they tripped and they fell, okay? They tripped and they fell, okay? And now they are going to be facing their karma, Okay. They really thought they could get away with this. Okay, I feel like Capricorn, I need to tell you that it feels okay as if you're gonna find something of this person, okay? I'm, I, I don't know why I'm getting that, okay? Because I'm kind of seeing that you're entering 
uh, this person's house or where they live, okay, and um, or, or there is something where this person is, and you're going to find something, okay? It's like you're opening some cupboard doors or something, cabinets, and you're going to find something, okay? And that is going to be the truth that you need to see, the confirmation, okay? All right, let's see what this Two of Swords is for work, finances. What is the Two of Swords? Okay, so you have the uh, Six of Swords here, okay? So whatever this is in regards to standing your ground and blocking a certain energy it's to help you to move into a calmer situation okay um and this could be our workplace making the the workplace a more calmer place to work in okay a more satisfactory place to work in i feel like you are delegating handing out different um jobs to different people okay um I'm, I'm seeing that for some of you guys, okay? Um, finances may not be so good right now, okay? Like I said, it could just be that you have been giving and giving and you're not receiving or getting, okay? And this is probably the reason now why you've decided, hey, look, enough is enough, okay? I keep giving my all into this workplace. I do overtime, I do extras, and I'm not getting. So now it's time to kind of delegate the work to others around me, okay? I so see what this page of swords is. I feel like this page of swords a magician. Yeah, this is a very curious energy. It could be somebody younger or just somebody who, you know, just has a young energy around them, okay? And they, they you know, uh, the, um, the magician. This is somebody who's trying to learn. But this can also be somebody who's very manipulative. It's like their curiosity, they gather all the information and then they try to use that to manipulate, okay? Like pressing on your weak points. Give me more for this uh, page of wands. Could be a Gemini. Um, we had the Knight of Butterflies. Yes, see what I just said there? Um, this is somebody who could come in, communicate a lot okay yada 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 um this person may take a lot of um actions there may be someone who goes left right left right and you know gives out so much um i just feel like oh what's that word they're mouthing off that is a word i'm trying to get like this person mouths off a lot right this person could be a gossiper this person gossips okay to other people about other people's situations um and they could be a, a manipulator here okay um, and, and I feel like, you, yeah, you're getting a, a little bit, um, you're getting a little frustrated with this person, I'm kind of lying, but um, I don't think it's bothering you too much, I don't think it's bothering you as much, it's like, nah, they're probably just an intern, right, they're learning, they'll get used to the idea, this is what every newcomer does, you know, they'll get the idea, bit of a sassy person, yeah, not a problem. Six of ones in reverse. It, it, I saw it at the bottom of the deck and it was upright and it fell out in reverse. This person has a bit of an ego to them. So take it out, resonate. That's what this King of Swords is. I feel like this is what, I feel like this is the same person here for you, okay? Have we got the King of Swords? Uh, two of cups in reverse. So this is definitely somebody you are not getting on well with, okay, in your workplace. I feel like this is a person where you're like, this person's chaotic. They talk too much. They don't shut up. They're always talking about other people's business. Like, grow the hell up. <laughs> you know, you're at work. Get on with your work, you know. I'm in a place for this. <laughs> you have the judgment coming out in reverse. Yeah, you're going to like, right, listen, this person does not use their brain. They can't make a good judgment call. They're absolutely, like, I, I'm hearing the word daft. I'm sorry if Crosswatch is not there. <laughs> but, and this is for Capricorn. I mean, I'm hearing what Capricorn's saying here. Like, this person is daft. Like, do they even have an ounce of brain? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but this is what I'm getting from all of this, you know, especially with that judgment card. I hear you, Capricorn. And I'm laughing because I find it, I kind of find it funny because... I'm kind of hearing it in my head the way you are saying it, Capricorn. And that's what's making me laugh. Okay, let's see what King of Pentacles is. Uh, do I do I need to say more about the King of Pentacles? But we'll see anyway. Okay, so you have um, the Knight of Wands. 
Oh, I like that energy here for you, okay? Because it does look like you are delegating. You are, which is basically just clarify everything I've just said, really, for you. You're you're somebody right now who is um, trying to free your mind, okay, from burdens right now, okay? And you're just kind of taking that ten of wands energy off you and just kind of giving it away, okay? Right, let's go to your personal life here and see what's going on. Tell me about the judgment. All right, so we have a lot of reversals coming up. In the beginning, we had the chariot coming up upright. Now it's in reverse, okay? A decision that you need to make in your personal life, okay, that's stopping you from moving forward right now, okay, to take action. And this could be something to do with the legal situation. This could be to do with the family situation where you're needing to make the decisions here, okay? Um, tell me more about this chariot. And again, I just, in regards to relationships, I feel like you, you just know what you need to do, okay? Especially if you are in a relationship with this new person. I, I feel like you know what you need to do, okay? Not taking these. Okay, so you have the Eight of Swords, yeah. You're definitely very stuck and feeling trapped right now and unable to make a decision about a situation, okay? This could be um, a decision that needs to be made between lawyers, judges, okay, um, solicitors. I don't know how what's going on. You know your situation better. The judgment can't usually represents uh, making a judgment call, but also in a legal matter as well. And with the Eight of Swords, it's kind of like you're not sure which move to make next or what turn to take. Okay. Um, and some of you guys, uh, you could be married. Okay, so that could be another thing here. All right. Um, let's see what the Ace of Wands is here. Could be about a ha house as well. Okay. You've got the four of swords coming up here, okay? So somebody here is trying to heal a situation, a, a passionate new situation here, okay? Um, if you're trying to start something new, okay, you're trying to um, think about that and you try to make the right decision in a calm and realistic way, okay? This is kind of what I'm getting. With the two of wands coming out, okay? Yeah, I feel like you're just trying to make a decision. You're waiting patiently, okay? You're trying to see through uh, a certain situation here. And with that ace of wands, again, I feel like if it's this past person coming in and saying we can have a fresh new start, <laughs> Listen, they're sugarcoating, okay, a lot of things. They are sweetening you up or trying to, but I feel like they're doing this in a very manipulative way, which has caused you a lot of stress, okay, and a lot of tension. I do feel that you and this person are going to end up in an argument, and then officially you are going to be like, hey, listen, get stuffed, <laughs> get wrecked, right? It's over. You're going to say some harsh words to this person, and it's, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Tell me about this temperance. You have the six of pentacles and you have the four of pentacles. Okay. So the six of pentacles represent um, a give and take. It's not always necessarily equal. And I feel like that is the reason why you're trying to find some balance here, okay? In between decisions that you're trying to make. This is just a very karmic situation right now. Um, but with the four of pentacles, I feel like you're just keeping things very much to you. Your cards close to you, okay? And I don't feel like you're kind of... <laughs> the funny thing is it says right here, not showing your hand right on the decisions that you are making and i think you're trying to be very very strategic here very strategic okay because this is a matter of um your beliefs okay this is a matter of um your choices that you make this is a matter of um hope okay your wish fulfillment right and i feel like this person is has played a lot of games with you already okay whoever this person is sagittarius as well here uh, Cancer here as well. What else do we have? Um, Leo. We have Aquarius, Aries, uh, Gemini. <sighs> Listen, could be any of them. But yeah, I feel like this person's played a lot of games with you already. We've got the Temperance here again with the Eight of Cups, walking away after making a choice. So you will make a choice. Somebody is going to be left heartbroken, okay? Um, somebody is not going to be happy with the decisions they made, but they know they have to do it in order 
order to put their home, themselves and their future in order, okay, in order to reach a wish fulfillment, okay? So, um, yeah, what else do we have here? Let me just quickly go through this uh, in case I've missed something. Sorry, Capricorns, it only gives me 30 minutes. But yeah, we're getting some advice cards out for you guys. Queen of Pentacles came out. Let's see what else. We've got the Hierophant. You guys get an extra couple of minutes. And we also have the um, Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, there's something magical going on here, okay, between you and this new person. I feel like you guys have a very spiritual connection, okay? And you guys are literally perfect match made for each other right and with the hierophant card here okay i feel like you just feel like this person is just the one for you perfect for you okay and i feel like um for some of you guys you may be ready to commit with this person okay at the same time there's still a lot of fieriness going on between you and this person so i feel like what this is basically trying to say is um you need to focus more on your home and this person okay and I feel like you are really ready right now to take um, action towards this person, okay? And what you desire, okay? So that is something I feel like that is coming strongly, okay? And with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, you see how that um, alligator crocodile, okay, at the bottom there is is very sneaky, okay? There could be somebody around in your vicinity as well who's a very, very sneaky, okay? But you may feel like you can trust this person, all right? Um, I'd be um, just a little bit careful because the way they're showing me this is uh, that you just never know when this person, okay, can uh, sneak attack, okay? Um, this could be a family member, okay? Um, this could also be... Um, just people are very close to you, okay, who you trust, okay, with uh, your sacred space, okay, but remember, you're in charge of your own future, you're in charge of your beliefs, okay, and you are in charge, okay, of, um, I, f I feel like I want to say that, you know, you're in charge of your own spirituality as well, so just be just be mindful okay in regards to um people around you okay at this time um also i'm getting that somebody here might end up being bit by their pet okay <laughs> don't ask is what i'm getting capricorn okay um was that a nice way to end the video maybe okay <laughs> maybe it's your cat maybe it's your dog maybe it's your puppy maybe it's your bunny i don't know um but somebody here is going to get bit by their pet okay um so that is what I have for you guys, Capricorn. I will see you guys on the next one.